VS Code, the cross-platform code editor that supports Python IntelliSense, debugging, Git integration, extensions galore, and cloud deployments for your applications has some new features this month. Let's get into the latest. By enabling add import heuristics, you can enable the quick fix light bulb icon to not only add imports that may be missing, but also fix your spelling errors. Quick fix can be activated with control comma or by clicking the light bulb icon. Here, I'm testing my session model defined in my Django application. You can see that I have an error squiggly underneath session on line 17. Once I've clicked the offending symbol, a light bulb appears in the left well of my code. Session is a common word in my code, and this quick fix allows me to search for all of the most likely options to fix my missing import. I click the correct import, and I can keep moving forward building my Python application. The quick fix can also help me with this misspelling. I'm using the freeze time method with freeze gun, and as I'm zooming through testing these features so I can go stretch my legs, I make some typos, and my code gives me a squiggle to show me my mistake. This symbol is not defined. Once I click the icon, I get a spelling suggestion or an option to search for additional import matches. This spelling quick fix is exactly what I need to move forward. By enabling auto start browser in my debugger configurations for my Django or Flask apps, a browser will automatically open so I can view my local application while I'm debugging. Here, I'm debugging my Django application. Make sure you have the Python debugger extension installed and enabled like I do here. I'm going to add a Django specific configuration to run in my debugger. I'll pick the Python debugger option, which will then give me more specific Python choices. You can see Flask and Django are both options. I've set my project so it is one level deeper than my workspace default, so I'll update where my debugger can find my manage.py, which is my Django management command line utility, and it helps me run all sorts of Django commands easily. Now I'll change my auto start browser from the false default to true. When I go to my drop-down menu to choose my debugger configuration, Django is now there. Now I hit the green play button to run my debugger. My local host will now open as I debug my application. New features added to the WSL extension allow us to use the REPL shell integration called by shift enter in order to run a command in the terminal. Let's start by checking the WSL extension is installed and enabled. Once it is, I go down to the remote development status bar in the bottom left of my VS Code window. Whether I want to open a dev container, tunnel, SSH, or code space, all remote connection options can be found here or by using the command palette. I click to connect WSL. WSL is the Windows subsystem for Linux, and you're now able to develop in a Linux-based environment, use Linux-specific toolchains and utilities from your Windows machine. You can edit files located in WSL or the mounted Windows file system without worrying about pathing issues. I open up my WSL targets and click a project that I've done before, which is the Python sample VS Code Fast API tutorial. Here I'm creating a utility file so I can play with a simple method in my REPL for this example. I'm going to do a little math in this method. I've also added some boilerplate code that will let me invoke the method from my REPL. I start from the top of my file so I can include my imports with shift enter. You can see it was successfully evaluated in my REPL because the blue circles in the left well of my terminal. I step through the method and the boilerplate to execute my code in the terminal. From here, I'll continue to play around with the method in the terminal and use the shell integration as yet another tool in my VS Code toolkit to write and evaluate my code intuitively. Check out everything that Microsoft is doing to support Python developers at aka.ms forward slash Python. Happy coding.